Good morning and welcome to the Livingston Parachutes Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning. If you're watching us live, thanks for that. If you're listening or watching later to the show, we appreciate that as well. Got our implements back today, so we appreciate that also. So this morning, let's uh, jump into some traffic after we talk about the fact that if you miss one of these shows, you can always catch them online, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We have audio and video versions there. You can watch either one. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, we also are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Of course, you're watching us on Facebook. We are once a week in print. That's the Thursday edition. It's $56 a year, $7 a month for that over $5 online. We appreciate your support. So traffic this morning, pretty standard. Uh, some heavier delays on I-12, uh, getting near to Jubin, but not as bad as it normally is. Uh, smattering after you get past O'Neill, and then it's looking pretty clear after the 10-12 split. If you're on I-12 westbound, uh, the traffic in Denham Springs at 4-H Club, River Road and 190, Pretty standard today, minor delays. Uh, you'll be waiting at that light probably five to 10 minutes. Traffic still flowing out of Watson on Highway 16 and still heavy around Denham Springs High School as well as Denham Springs Junior High. So prepare yourself for that. Weather today, it's 66 outside. That cold front or cool front rather is moving in slow. It's still gonna get up to 84 degrees today. Gonna be pretty warm today and tomorrow, Thursday. Then we're going to get some showers and thunderstorms Friday, and bottom's going to fall out for about a day. We're going to get a low of 60 Friday night, a, a low of 54 Saturday night, and a high of 74 during the day on Saturday. Perfect day to go vote. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, But then the temperature kind of starts slowly going back up, at least highs during the day. We'll have some lows at night uh, in the in the low 60s, almost in the 50s. So that's that's kind of nice. Uh, there will be uh, if you if you live anywhere north of Denham Springs in, or in Watson, and you've traveled uh, past Fairlane Farms or in that area, you've noticed that there has been on and off road work going on in that area. Well, that will continue starting tomorrow, Wednesday evening. There will be intermittent closures. There will always be a lane open for travel. Uh, as they're replacing some, some cross culverts, uh, fixing the bed in the road, that sort of thing. You probably noticed chops in it. Uh, that's a DOTD operation. Uh, and again, it will continue through Sunday. So Wednesday through Sunday, this time, intermittent night closures. Master Plan Committee is going to meet this evening. They'll be talking about a couple of things, uh, one of which is the Louisiana Watershed Initiative. Uh, this is a group... Uh, that was formed by the governor. Uh, they're looking at all the watersheds throughout the state. They currently have about $1.2 billion to, uh, I don't want to say play with, that's not exactly the right terminology, but to spend on uh, studies, projects, that sort of thing. So there's going to be a lot of people vying for that stuff. They just recently released uh, their action plan uh, for spending that money. There will be a lot of people that are going to say, hey, what about my project, that sort of thing. There's currently a public comment period. We're working through that here at the news. We're going to have a, sort of a layout for you as soon as we can. Trying to get through election season here. Uh, we're, we're working up to October 12th, which is uh, election day here in Louisiana. There's also a lot going on that day. We'll talk about that in a minute because the master plan committee uh, still has to talk about the economic corridor as well. They'll be talking about priority roads that they want to put on the road program for the future. Uh, if you don't know what the economic corridor is, it's about a mile and a half north and south of I-12, stretching throughout the middle of Livingston Parish. It's supposed to be the welcome wagon for the parish. Uh, the, part of the master plan is improving infrastructure uh, as well as utilities in the area to make it uh, very uh, pop, not, uh, popular is not the word, attractive to large commercial and industrial employers. Uh, and so there, the master plan committee will be working through that. that that's might be the first place where they want to implement zoning is in the economic corridor. It's a, it's a huge focus of the master plan. Now let's let's talk about voting. Uh, almost 11,000 people early voted, a little over 13% of the total pop, uh, voting population of Livingston Parish. There's about 80,000 registered voters. Excuse me. 
October 12th is election day. Please remember that if you are going to go vote, the polls will be open early. We'll have a precinct, precinct list online very shortly today. Uh, you need to find your precinct and you need to go ahead and go because there's a lot going on on Saturday. Uh, we've got LSU versus Florida, Southeastern's homecoming, it's hunting season, uh, and it's Saturday of the fair week. So please, please, please go ahead, get out and vote if you haven't voted yet on October 12th. Uh, and please remember that there is a lot going on. Try to plan some time to just go out there. Those digital voting machines are really easy to use. Boop, 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 you're out. So go take some time. Try to do that uh, as, as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, we all want to get out and, and make our voice heard. Last gubernatorial election in 2015 turned out 32, 33% in Livingston Parish. Let's see if we can't beat that record. The Dem Springs Council will also be meeting tonight. A lot of rezoning proposals on the list. Uh, not much else going on. I myself will be hosting our 42nd Spelling Bee at the uh, Livingston Parish Fair, which opened up on Saturday. You can check out a lot of the information from the fair uh, at www.lewisonparishnews.com backslash living. Uh, there's a schedule there for all that. But uh, as mentioned, we have a busy night tonight, uh, so we're going to be all spread out. Mr. Fambro is going to be at the Master Plan Committee I mentioned. Uh, we'll have somebody at the Denham Council, and I will be doing the Livingston Parish Fair, the Spelling Bee. If you don't know what our Spelling Bee is, annually we have um, every junior high competes at the sixth grade level. They have an internal Spelling Bee and send their top three to the fair on Tuesday night where we have uh, our own giant spelling bee and we run through uh, several rounds of words and everyone receives a dictionary, a brand new dictionary, and then a courtesy of Sporting Center, we have a top three award as well as some gift cards to restaurants. So if you're interested in that, we will be filming it this year and uh, you don't have to watch the whole thing. They, they can last a while. Uh, two years ago, we had two kids go I think in around 13, it was about three and a half hours long. So I, I, I don't know if you'd want to watch the whole thing. Maybe if your your grandkid or, or your kids are in it and you had to work or something like that. But uh, it is a lot of fun. We enjoy doing it. And uh, again, this would be our 42nd year of doing that. So uh, please check that out. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, Mr. David Gray writes it up, talks about the words and, uh, and who won, of course. So uh, please, please check that out later. Moving into some sports here, uh, French Settlements' Dana Martin uh, has signed with LSU Alexandria to play basketball. So that's a, uh, we've got a lot of kids starting to move on to the next level. Uh, a lot of uh, there's a lot of attractiveness to playing at the next level at any you know any classification, Division One, One AA, uh, Division Three, those sorts of things. So congratulations to Miss Martin from uh, French Settlement. Miss Albany Spring has committed to LSU E to play softball. So again, another commitment. Very cool. So Fall Fest, uh, we're moving out of sports now. Please remember that volleyball is tonight. We also uh, we have a football show that we do every Wednesday, which we produce on Thursday, uh, where we interview all the coaches, and then we come. I come together with Robin William, and we talk about what happened the week before. And what those folks are interested after uh, are, are going into next week. Uh, we've got Live Oak, which is kind of riding on 5-0. and They play Zachary. So it'll be interesting to see what Coach Beard had to say about that uh, coming up on our show a few days from now. Again, Fall Fest was this Saturday. There were some reports that it was dozens of folks. Um, I can tell you I haven't seen folks park that far out. Uh, in quite some time, there were some uh, parked in Denham Springs as far away as Tractor Supply and walked into downtown Denham Springs. Uh, so it was more more along the lines of a couple of thousand uh, descended upon downtown Denham Springs for Fall Fest. It was an enjoyable time. It did get pretty hot in the middle of the day, but eventually cooled off in the evening uh, as, as the festival wrapped up. There was a great music lineup at both uh, the southern and northern ends, they always have bands playing at the train station as well as on the southern end down there at Centerville. Uh, lots of good bands there. You can read all about them, see some videos of what they played at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash living. Uh, Mr. David Gray went and covered them and talked to all, talked to all those folks. At any rate, uh, while we didn't have much to talk about uh, in terms of news right now, we will be covering a lot today. I will have plenty to come at you with tomorrow. 
including some winners of our spelling bee. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, our traffic today is starting to get heavy. Uh, it looks like those schools are emptying out and those folks are finally finding their way on the interstate. I-12 westbound backed up past Juven Road as of right now. Delays starting to stack up at Juven Road and 190. Uh, some heavy delays at 190, 4-H Club Road and River Road if you're trying to get out of Denham Springs on surface roads in the west. Some minor delays on 64 heading into Central. It's currently 66 degrees. It will get up into the mid-80s, but it will drop again tonight into the mid-60s. Going to get warm again up until Friday. Should have a large band of thunderstorms come through, bring some cooler weather, and uh, it's going to get down in the low 60s with uh, highs in the mid-70s uh, for a couple of days. So definitely on Saturday, great day to go vote. High of 74, low of 54, and a great day for a little bit of college football. Uh, again, my name is BQ David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us on this Tuesday morning, Taco Tuesday. Uh, on this Tuesday morning, October 8th, uh, please remember to go vote on October 12th. Uh, it's very important. 13.3% turned out early, about 11,000 people. Let's try to get as many many folks out to vote. There's a, It's a packed ballot, very worth your time to go vote. Uh, there's a ton of things to vote on, statewide, parish-wide, uh, and individual races, tons, tons of things to vote on. So please get out and vote. Please remember, if you ever miss any of these shows, you can always check them out, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. They are free. We have audio and video versions as well. Heavily recommend the audio version. It's nice and edited. I sound great. Um, we also have long-form podcasts as well. We've done an interview with a lot of the candidates. Uh, we recommend you go check those out. We're talking about a lot of dirty details, some of the things that they're interested in changing or improving should they be elected. So please go check that out, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. Otherwise, the news is on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We're online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We are $5 a month there. We have an app as well. We appreciate you checking that out. And we are also in print once a week on Thursdays. It's magazine style. $7 a month gets you every Thursday of that month in your mailbox. $56 a year gets you every Thursday of that year in your mailbox. So please check that out. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning on Taco Tuesday. Hope you have a great day. Hope you brought a jacket today because it is going to be cool by the time you leave work in the evening.